everybody welcome back to my channel this is lunar light tarot and i'm here with your pick a card reading for what is your current lesson i'm so excited to have you bell back on my channel today um this is my second video um so let's just hop right into it so you have the choice of piles one two or three these are all really great readings so feel free to pick with your gut Pick whatever card is calling to you, and let's get started. Okay, so pile number one. This is your reading. have for you the death card with the hair fit and reversed and the nine of pentacles to start off so this tells me that you've recently gone through some type of change in your life or you're trying to initiate some kind of change in your life this speaks about wanting things to change wanting things to be different wanting something a situation to end um this could possibly be relating to um lessons that you feel that you haven't learned yet you may feel like you're doing really well in your life right now that you're happy and you're feeling abundant um but there's still something kind of nudging at you kind of talking at you um it's this hairpin in reverse and basically what that means is that there are lessons that that haven't been learned there are experiences that you've gone through that maybe you haven't that maybe you're still stuck uh crying over spilled milk over these things and not exactly seeing the lesson, seeing that all of these things are happening for us and not to us. So there could have even been things I'm getting, I'm picking up on like friends, things that friends could have said to you. This, the hair is also the card about um, doing the right thing. So this could have been uh, relating to you not doing the right thing in the past and wanting to correct those actions to have a better life now. So again, we have the Hierophant, the King of Wands, and the Four of Swords in reverse. So um, this is talking about, um, again, like really wanting to do things right. This could be a relation to um, your relationships in your life. Not only romantic, but it could be. Um, I'm also getting family. Hierophant can be the card of family. It's the card of traditions, marriage. Um, and, and so I also kind of see dating. So with the Knight of Wands here, this could be just you going way too fast in a situation. Um, I'm also hearing like jumping the gun. It could be that you have a tendency when you meet someone that you really like or that you're interested in to kind of um, jump in, right? Instead of taking your time to figure out like who the person is and, you know, um, going the more traditional route. Maybe you haven't been the kind of person to go the more traditional route, but you're kind of seeing lately the benefit of what would happen if you were to do that. Again, with the Four of Swords reverse here, it says that you maybe you have not been resting or taking your time in situations like maybe you feel like you should be or that you want to. Um, this could also even be pressure um, from the outside. People, people maybe having you act fast. People wanting you to live the fast life with them. You know, going out, partying, having a ton of fun, but you feel uncomfortable. It could be any of those things. So the message here is to really just slow down and take your time when it comes to um, relationships in your life, especially romantic relationships or family. Um, if there's a situation right now where you feel uncomfortable or there are issues that you have to fix, things that weren't, um, things that didn't go well in your past that you're wanting to correct those actions or whatever could have happened, now's the time to really sit back, think, rest, heal. And then when you're ready, you'll have all the answers and be able to move forward step by step. So next we have the Four of Swords in reverse. 
which yes is the same card just over here uh, the ten of pentacles in reverse and again the death card so when i was pulling these cards which was just a moment ago i was so shocked to see that we have these repeats these repeats and these so we're actually beginning and ending this portion of the reading with the death card which i thought was really amazing it's good energy believe me so um this speaks of you resting or you trying to rest and you forcing yourself to rest um it also speaks of um a possible you know upset or a heartbreak that could have happened in your past that you're now almost finished healing from so you know with the three of swords comes the four of swords which is what we have here and the three of swords talks about that heartbreak the, those uh, upsetting times um times where you really feel like you know you're, you're crying you know you could break you know um so you really come out of those feelings though maybe you've had something bad happen to you in your past and now you're really feeling like your heels from it you're, again with this nine of pentacles you're feeling a lot better you know you're you're really getting your stride in life people are seeing that you have your stride but they're also but you also see yourself as maybe not having everything under control so um with the ten of pentacles in reverse here this talks about um lineage uh family long ties what this really says to me along with the death card is that you might feel that if you don't change your ways that you are going to continue to exemplify these negative behaviors into your future so right now it may feel like a do or die kind of point for yourself that you feel like you really have to change this behavior i really have to change this fast drastic behavior otherwise i may uh, end up in some real trouble i may not have the life that i envision by myself in the future if i don't change the course that i'm on right now so that really may involve again slowing down thinking about all your decisions very carefully before you act in them and um just just being careful you know um you are the sole creator of your life you manifest your, your entire your entire being your, your universe you know we the universe responds to the energy that we put out and that is our reality so if you are acting in this rushed high uh high, high, high paced way and you feel that um it's not the best for you you are going to get back situations that don't resonate with you that aren't the best for you that are too fast for you that you feel like you could possibly be out of control in and it's because that's what you have on the inside so with this healing with this rest comes a brand new way of life you know especially especially in this card you can see um, the light coming out from after this death after all after everything has happened here after um, this change and ending takes place it's a, a new and better suited dawn it's always better suited so this really speaks about some great changes coming for you so let's look at the oracle cards that you have for your reading we have the thinking man love yourself first from the uh, romantic angels deck and healing heart and this is from the um mermaids and something deck i'm sorry guys i'll have to if you're interested i can put um leave me a comment i can put the deck names in the description but um first let's start off with a thinking man so what this really says to me is just a whole confirmation of what we're talking about so far this is really about taking that time taking that time to rest and to think through all your decisions it really it really may have been a situation where you were just rushing into a lot of things without thinking them all the way through this could be um you know projects you could have been working on relationships you have with other people um i'm even getting like you know going to places restaurants parties um places that you feel like you know your friends are dragging you to but you may not want to be there but you feel like oh i'm gonna miss out if i don't go you're not missing out on anything you you should take care of you you know you are taking care of you so this really talks about taking that time thinking thinking everything through maturely you know and putting all your pros and cons on the tables to weigh them out you know and then we have love yourself first so this is really self-explanatory i feel like it again goes with kind of what i was saying before about you know your friends possibly dragging you out to places and you not wanting to go or you know even you know people putting pressure on you 
love yourself first you know if you don't want to do these things say no say no no is such a powerful word and oftentimes we can sometimes feel like um we can sometimes feel like we shouldn't be saying that word or that it's rude to say no or that you know even though i don't want to do this thing this person wants me to do it so i'm going to be kind and go on with this thing no no don't do that you are the most important priority in your life if you are not happy it doesn't matter what anybody else feels like to be to be very honest you are the only person feeling your emotions so if you can avoid a situation that even potentially will put you in a situation that you do not want to be in will put you in an environment you don't want to be in say no say no and love yourself first that is an act of self-love a lot of people feel like self-love is only bubble baths and you know going out shopping or going to a movie self-love is blocking that person if you need to self-love is saying no to your friends if you don't want to go out or if you have an essay due and you need to you know do some work self-love is you know maybe you don't want to go out for drinks after work and your friends are all pressuring you and you just want to have a quiet night at home self-love is saying no so it's really important to do that and um i feel like you're totally getting this message and that you are you really this reading displays to me that you want this change very badly and that you're already taking the steps there is to get there so i'm sure you know this and then we have healing heart so i thought this was really beautiful to end this portion of the reading um healing heart again is all about that healing we talked about before with these two four of swords again taking that time completely getting out of whatever whatever negative energy you feel like is currently affecting you opening up that heart chakra feeling those emotions a lot of times people don't want to feel their negative emotions because they're like oh it's gonna make me sad or you know what i'm really gonna get from that really what comes from feeling those negative emotions is the release once you release them you know you let them move through you you don't hold on them you let them move through you so that you can release them then there comes this beautiful opening of you know the heart chakra you know once you let go of that pain it is so so important to just just be with yourself in this way especially in this card and I was kind of thinking this to myself last night being with yourself and comforting yourself if you can see that um these people look so similar it almost looks like the older and the younger version of themselves like this person comforting the younger version of themselves so if you can this could be talking about getting in touch with your inner child comforting that inner child you know healing healing deep wounds past life wounds um childhood wounds this behavior really whatever you feel like is if, if this resonates with you whatever behavior that you feel like you're exemplifying that you want to change this definitely comes from your past and it's not just like okay a few weeks ago i'm definitely getting that this is something that you have um maybe grown up with or been accustomed to um been socialized in because um because you were in a certain environment or what have you but this behavior has probably been along for a while and now you are coming to close it out. I say this because you also have death twice, which means this is a massive cycle, very big. I'm actually surprised the world card didn't come out for you. Um, but with this healing, and especially with this love yourself first and this healing, these are both basically the same message. With these two cards, you really can come out of this energy. You are already at, like you already have the death card twice. So this means that you are coming out of it. You're going to the new stage it requires it requires the healing though you are so close especially with these both being reversed i was shocked to see that both of these four swords came out reversed i mean getting the same card in itself i only have two tarot texts so you can imagine you got them both you know um but getting these cards in reverse talk about coming out of that energy and since you have it twice and you have the death card twice and you have the hair from twice you are really moving on to this new stage and you are already healing yourself you're already putting yourself first it's just a matter of continuing to do that and continuing to deepen your connection with yourself um which will bring about this beautiful life change so pile number one that is your reading i hope you liked that if you like that please give me a comment down below i would love to interact with you guys i definitely want to hear what you have to say and what you think about the readings okay 
Okay, pile number two, this is your reading. Okay, pal number two, this is your reading. All right, so starting off, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Whew. Okay, now I'm getting back into this energy from when I pulled these cards and I'm just totally feeling this big pile of stress in my life, this huge knot of stress. Okay, this could be you working really, really hard at work, working hard on a new project. This could be um, you just trying to maybe make money. I mean, all of the cards, all the main cards that came out here are pentacles. So this is definitely you working very hard in the physical world. This could literally be about work, trying to uh, work very hard at work, or it could just be a project that you're, um, you're getting involved now, or it could even be school if you are a student. Um, with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords in reverse, this, this is the part that leads me to believe that you are feeling stressed. The Ten of Wands is all about the burden. You know, do you see um, all these sticks on this person's back here? And they are hunched over in this pain, like, oh my gosh, this burden is so heavy. I wish I could let go, blah, blah, blah. But you still are holding these sticks on your back. Um, and also, it's combined with the um, Knight of Swords in reverse. You could even be thinking about a conversation that um, didn't go well, maybe repeating words in your mind um, about um, any, any kind of like negative words that are spoken in a conversation. Um, this could have been even like a reprimand or just someone saying something really rude to you that you're kind of still thinking about or still upset about. Um, and it's causing tension in wherever you are, um, wherever you're working, like whatever, you know, wherever you go to get work done, this is basically where you're kind of feeling a little bit tense because of whatever was said or um, whatever conversation was had. I'm really feeling it's a conversation um, involving involving at least one person. It could be, it could be more than one person. Um, but I feel like you're mostly trying to, to work hard though. I feel like you're not trying to pay attention to the stress or whatever is happening right now. Um, it's really important for you to feel focused on, on what your work is, but this is definitely tugging at your mind. You're definitely thinking about this. Okay, so next we have the Three of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Queen of Swords. So with the Three of Pentacles, this talks about, again, about collaborating and working with other people. Um, so you could be trying to just like balance out the workplace. This kind of goes with the last message we just had here. Trying to balance out your emotions while you're in the workplace. Um, trying to work with other people. This could be you working in a team, working on a project with other people. And there could be someone, uh, I don't feel like this is your energy here. Um, so there could be someone who um, is maybe a little bit, I'm really, I'm really getting kind of like a little bit rude, um, cutting, you know, the queen of swords is someone who is, you know, she doesn't take any BS, you know, um, but the, the energy that I'm getting here is that maybe this person is so on guard that they don't understand that they are even being off-putting to other people. Um, this actually could be the person who maybe said something to you that was rude, or maybe just like it is in that same group of people, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same person. But I feel like that when you are around this person, you're trying to temper your energies, or if this is even you, you are trying to get out of this energy, you're trying to temper your energies and work um, a little better with other people, a little more uh, cohesively. This could be about trying to keep a group together and even getting like a friend group or a, a work environment, um, really getting work environment, to be honest. Um, so, but if it's not, you know, that's totally fine. This could still resonate in different areas of your life or to pick another reading if this isn't resonating with you. Um, but really I'm seeing that you are trying to, again, temper these energies, um, balance yourself out and come to an understanding with the people in your group and just work well with them. I'm getting like well-oiled machine. You're trying to become a well-oiled machine with these people, but you know, there could be 
<laughs> it's so funny with this analogy. I'm kind of getting like there could be rusty spots, right? Like you're trying to oil yourself up by like tempering your emotions. So this person, if this isn't you, this could be like that rust spot. Like is basically is causing friction in the group. Um, but you're trying to basically um, calm these waters. You're doing a good job, first of all. You're doing a good job of whatever you're doing. If this isn't you, it is affecting this person. It is affecting this person. And this person is taking notice of how you're responding to them and it's it's eventually going to change the way things are um again since we are the the masters of our own universe we are the creators of our own reality when you change your inner thoughts beings um when you change your inner beliefs or when you're trying to when you shift your own part of the dynamic the whole dynamic will shift so as you are healing yourself the dynamic will shift in this situation and that's basically what this person is feeling and they have no point but to sh uh, no choice but to shift along with it you know when someone changes in the group dynamic it changes the whole group you know not that everyone has to behave completely differently but the group itself will move differently in that way because you have changed so that's really great so you're making you're making great waves you're making good waves you know really trying to be stressed out by this i see that and then we have the Two of Pentacles with the Two of Wands reversed and the Five of Swords reversed. So um, the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands reversed both talk about making a decision. Um, this could be you. I, I'm really getting it's connected to well, obviously what we talked about before. This could be you deciding whether or not you want to continue on this path or or not basically it's um i think you're feeling that there are some some i wouldn't say like mind games but maybe like subtle manipulation happening in the group you know people kind of being rude to each other i wouldn't i wouldn't say this is like my throwing shade card but you know throwing shade is included <laughs> you know what i mean like this is a card where people are, are being mean to each other they're not being a friend people are playing games with people's emotions it's just not good and that could be happening in the workplace that could be happening um wherever you feel like you get work done so you're kind of debating on like well how do i how do i get out of this you know how do i take the next step how do i you know make a plan for my future without this without this energy being a part of it and that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be people but just that energy how do i get that energy out of my space so i really feel like you're kind of juggling this right now it also could be juggling about whether or not you want to be a part of this group any longer whether or not you want to continue to like um, make plans with them. The two of wands is all about making plans, long-term plans. This could literally be plans for like the weekend or plans for next week. It doesn't have to necessarily be long-term, but you're like, but do I want to continue doing this? I'm really drawn to uh, the waves in the background of this card. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but the waves are talking to me about um, waves of, of emotion because the water in tarot uh, represents emotions. So these people could be putting you on an emotional roller coaster and you're just not wanting to be a part of it any longer. Totally understandable. You know, um, it seems like it is time to take yourself out of the situation and that you're just kind of debating on how do I do that. So let's take a look at the old cards that came out for you. You have the Angel of Strength, Flirt, and blessed change i love these cards for your reading i think they're really indicative of what's happening so first card we have here again is the angel of strength this talks about you you know having that strength the angels giving you strength um if you pray um your prayers for strength are paying off the angels are giving you strength sources providing you with strength um and that also that you have strength in the situation also that you have power in the situation it goes back to what we were saying about changing the dynamic just um just through your own healing and your own um just by you changing yourself and that that is power that is um that is you manifesting and changing through your reality that is amazing and so you are really holding and accumulating this strength through the situation even i'm actually picking up on that this situation is 
for you to grow, for you to um, kind of come to that next level in your life, know how to um, interact with other people, kind of, um, and also knowing which people are for you and which people are not pretty much instantaneously. I feel like after this, you are going to know which people in your life or which people who come into your life are going to, you know, actually be who they say they are and which people are worth avoiding altogether, you know? So this is really about having that strength, exemplifying that strength, building strength within yourself, saying that you have the strength to get through the situation. And if you feel like you are so overburdened with this, with this 10 of wands, listen, as soon as you make this decision and drop this load, you will feel so much better. You will feel so much better. And you have the strength to do this. You do have the strength to do this. So next we have flirt. And it says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. I love this card. I think it goes so well with the reading. Actually, as I was um, pulling the cards, I was just thinking, like, oh, it would be perfect if this card came out. And of course it did. <laughs> um, and the reason I say that is because um, the key word here is lighthearted. You know, it, I, as soon as I started pulling these cards, I felt like this tight, tight tension. Um, and it's really about opening that up, you know, taking a deep breath out, you know, um, and having fun. It's really about having fun. It's so much about having fun, um, extending that lighthearted energy. So if you feel like you're bogged down with the situation that you really can't get away from this in your mind, it's time to step back. It's time to step outside of this and go have fun with some friends. Go have fun with yourself. You know, um, you don't need anybody else to have fun. So just know that. So this is really about you getting in that more lighthearted place and having and having more fun. This isn't necessarily about you going out and flirting, all that, although please do that if you want to do that, you know, <laughs> that sounds like a great time too. Um, but moreover, it's about getting to that lighter place in your energy and bringing that towards other people. You know, you really may have been under this 10 of wands energy for a long time, really feeling overburdened. So it's about giving yourself that much needed break and just loving yourself, you know, bringing yourself into that higher vibrational energy. It is so important. And, you know, once you just have some more fun, you'll be feeling so much better and you'll have a clear head. You'll know what to do. And the last card we have here for your reading is Blessed Change. It says, a major life change bring you, brings you great blessings. Excuse me. Okay, so for Blessed Change, I'm also seeing this um, this light over here. Um, this is talking to me about, you know, obviously things changing in your life. That, that big, beautiful, you know, kind of sun energy, sun energy in the tarot is... You know happy times happy endings having a great time with friends again it goes back to this um this flirt energy that we were just talking about having that light-hearted energy being happy i mean you can see this mermaid here has this big smile on her face she's doing a flip in the water she's just having fun having you know being carefree you know being who she wants to be so once you are really in the energy, once you just, you know, take care of yourself, you're not worrying about other people, you're having lots of fun, boom, you're going to have this massive change happen. Just like I said before, once you start, you know, having fun, letting that weight go, that's when, that's when everything's going to open up for you. It's going to become very, very clear what you have to do. I honestly don't feel like this is the stickiest of situations. I do feel like this is something you can get yourself out of. It's not going to last forever. Everything, almost everything is temporary in life, right? So this situation is also temporary. This weight is temporary. You're going to have this big, beautiful change that's going to lead you to so much abundance and happiness. I'm really feeling like there is just something coming in for you soon that's going to be really beautiful, you know? So just, just go ahead and wait for this blessed change. Um, not exactly waiting, but um, having having fun. Have fun while this change is ushering itself into your life. And that'll just bring it about that much quicker. I mean, with the law of attraction, it's all about being what you want to become, right? Being what you want to have manifested in your life. So if you are in the energy, in the vibration of fun and happiness and lightheartedness, that is what's going to manifest in your life. So that is your reading, pal number two. I hope you enjoyed that. It looks beautiful. You have so much.
great stuff coming towards you and you're already handling what you're going through gracefully i will definitely say that so gracefully Okay, pile number three, this is your reading. All right, pile number three. Now this, I, I have to say, this was the reading that probably blew me away the most. <laughs> okay, so let's just jump right into it. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles here with the Hermit in reverse and the Princess of Swords in reverse. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles here represents you. Um, so really you are hopefully feeling very abundant at this time. This is somebody who is financially stable. You know, they have, they have all, you know, they cross their D's, cross their D's, sorry. They cross their T's and dot their I's. Um, so you're, you're feeling very abundant right now, you know, kind of lavish living, you know, you're happy stable you know you have you have everything all your ducks in a row basically um the queen of pentacles is someone who just has herself together um with the with the hermit reversed here i feel like um maybe you're coming out of a period of kind of possibly feeling alone possibly um just feeling like maybe you were alone very often during this period doing a, doing a ton of thinking a lot of soul searching i mean like a very deep energy i'm actually like visualizing like almost like a uh, <laughs> I think this is crazy almost like a black hole but like a tornado I don't know it's like it's going into itself and just swirling and maybe you just got caught in that for a while and we're just swirling 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 so deep into yourself and just really losing yourself in your soul and trying to understand possibly different things in your life understand yourself really uh, so you're coming kind of coming out of that soul searching period of kind of feeling like you could just be like kind of spitting yourself out in a way um and coming to this really solid stable place where you feel like okay i've learned so much about myself in the past like whatever three months or so and now i'm feeling so much more stable with whatever i've learned and it could even be um in regards to some some I would say in regards to but it could involve some blunt communication that happened in your past um this could have been one of the things that you were thinking about this could have been a situation that um that you that you just kind of find yourself replaying in your mind or playing the words um that happened or that were said rather um so this could have been even you saying something that was negative i'm also getting someone could have possibly lied to you and you could have been thinking about that about um the negative energy surrounding that let's just move on because this is going to talk more about what this energy is okay so we have the ten of pentacles reversed the emperor the devil reversed and the empress and i don't know if you've noticed but i usually only pull two um two clarifiers for each of these cards but oh my gosh when i saw the emperor and the empress i was like i'm done obviously i have to put that in the reading um this talks about a really deep soul connection i feel like you definitely know this person you um as a queen of pentacles this could be um a masculine energy that you know of does not have to be um an actual male masculine energy can have it any body any any gender you know so that's not exactly what we're talking about we're talking about masculine energy which could which could have uh, belonged to anybody we also have masculine and feminine energy inside of all of us it's, it's that yin and yang balance but this is someone who holds mostly masculine energy they're masculine they present as masculine but moving on Ten of Pentacles reverse is about um, feeling like you want that foundation, you want stability with this person possibly, but you feel like you can't get there right now. There's something that just is holding the both of you back, and it is this devil in reverse. Um, 
it's almost like the two of you are connected by your love but also your issues you know um a lot of a lot of tarot readers you know me included um more so now sees the devil as the lovers but in darkness uh especially coming out with the emperor and the empress like wow um this is really speaking about you two a bunch of coming out in reverse you two both healing you two both getting rid of toxicity that is in both of your lives um it could also be in regards to each other things that have held you back from each other things that have made it so it made it, made it difficult for you to enter into relationship to to be ready for a relationship um or even issues that you have regarding this person spe specifically as in this person hurts you they lied to you um you know they didn't whatever have you and you're starting to let these things go now um but i feel like there is still this uncertainty of will we get together or not will this work or not will can we have a long-term foundation can we you know have a long-term relationship can this relationship work at all you know i feel like this person this emperor is um also kind of thinking the same thing not necessarily um not necessarily as worried like this person i feel like this person knows that they want to be with you um i feel like we'll, we'll get there but i do feel like you may be kind of debating on whether or not you want to be with them this person i feel knows that they want a relationship they just don't know if it's possible, which is the same way as you. So in a way, you guys are mirroring each other, mirroring the healing of your wounds and mirroring, I don't know if this can work or not, that thought. Um, so this, I think that's really, really interesting. Um, this is a match here. This is a match with the emperor and the empress. This is the highest vibrational match you can get. Um, I personally only believe, and this is just me as a tarot reader, I personally only believe that the magician and the high priestess are higher than this i kind of see them as the same as emperor and the empress but this is the they are the og you know the original um they are the divine feminine and masculine you know so this is that divine counterpart relationship you two could be um you guys could be soulmates you guys could be divine counterparts this could be your counterpart you know this um this could be a life partner especially with the ten of pentacles here talking about a long-term foundation this is someone who you feel like you may want to marry blatantly um and you're just you're just worried that this person or you cannot come out of this healing phase enough to have a healthy relationship with each other so that is really that is really what you were thinking about right now okay let's go into this part so we have the world the lovers and the world again i was like what this came out okay so to me this is talking about a massive massive life cycle ending especially with it coming out twice like you guys have a world for each of you you guys both have it you know and basically what this is saying the, i'm really getting the answer to your question whether you think this is, like, is going to work is yes and i'm not necessarily saying that you two are going to get together but i'm saying that the healing that you two are doing you can get to the point where you can have a healthy relationship. You can get to the point where you feel like you are healed enough to enter into a long-term commitment. You can do these things because you are releasing those negative karmic cycles in your life. And you're doing it in a massive way. You may have taken some action recently that has kind of brought you to the conclusion that like, wow, I'm really changing. I'm really, I'm seeing the work that I'm doing in myself. Please, I'm, I'm really getting from my guys right now that you are doing so well and also to congratulate yourself like give yourself a round of applause keep keep praising yourself keep congratulating yourself because you know the the small steps in this journey add up to miles they add to miles and sometimes we don't realize that we're doing all this work on ourselves and that every single little step matters police can continue to congratulate yourself also, the second message that I'm getting here with the Empress being right next to this lovers is that, again, that you may be confused, that you may not totally be sure this is the path that you want to take. Um, I'm really down to the way that this card is laid out right now. If you can see that the guy, the man in this card, is looking very intently at the woman, but the woman is actually just like looking up and not really paying attention to the man. And this is kind of you, this is what I talked about earlier with, 
you know this masculine energy knows they he knows that you know this person knows that they want to be in a relationship with you they know they're sure they got it like it's down pat now okay if they were confused in the past if they're indecisive in the past that energy is it's on its way out it's basically gone like with this with this world card it's gone it's gone they know they definitely know the only thing lingering now is you i almost feel like this is like residual energy that could have been coming off of this person as well not that you are like the same exact person that but that you guys share energy um and as this person also moves out of this phase you're moving out of it too especially with it being with the world card you may be coming to you know you may be feeling like you're coming to more of a decision lately of what you want which is great and you know really go with your heart on this you know use your heart and your head that is the best thing to do um, but you know, a more of your heart, especially, you know, as I've gone through my own journey, I have learned that, um, it's so important to think with both and that if you're out of balance in one or the other, it can really lead to some, it can lead to a negative situation. It can lead to being, you know, imbalanced. So, um, you know, really weigh out those pros and cons if you feel like you need to do that. But I do feel like you might already know your answer. You might already know your answer at this point of watching this video and if you were apprehensive it's okay it's okay to take your time it's okay to rest it's okay to continue to think about it uh, again because we have this i mean again, we have the uh, hermit in reverse this is also the reason why i said you might already know after all of this soul searching you know so much more about yourself and what you want in life that you may be like you know what i don't really care what anybody else has to say about what what they think about what i'm doing in my life i'm gonna do me and i know exactly what i want that is told the energy that i'm getting from you right now and it may not be that you know exactly what you want but you're really you're really becoming much clearer on what that is to you because of this world because of this massive karmic ending that you're having in your life which is leading you to this beautiful clarity so um that is this portion of the reading so let's check out your oral cards here so we have patience attraction and empowerment i love that okay let's get into it so um with patience here I feel like the message is always self-explanatory. Have patience with yourself, you know, have patience with the situation. Things are moving, but they may not be moving as fast as you might hope. You know, that's kind of the situation for a lot of different things. Um, with this Ten of Pentacles being in reverse, you know, that foundation is really being laid. It's being set up. It is there. It is there. I mean, the card is here. The energy is here. It's just reversed. So, you know, once this, like, once this comes into fruition, once you kind of, once you both make these decisions, once you both come out of this toxicity, which is already leaving, which is already leaving, I'm really getting, like, remnants, you know, only remnants are left, and once you sweep those out of the way, like, you are, you are healed. I mean, no one's going to be healed 100%, but you are healed enough to enter, enter, enter into something completely new, but, um, it's really going to require patience. It's going to require to being gentle with yourself. I'm really getting, um, you know, you could have been in a period before where you were exhibiting negative self-talk. This is also about, you know, being gentle with yourself, um, being considerate of yourself and others. Um, but more of all, just, just really being patient with yourself, being gentle with yourself, you know, having gentle self-talk, you know, we don't beat ourselves up, you know, we take care of ourselves, you know, if we do something wrong, um, we acknowledge it and say, I'm going to do better next time. And that's okay that I messed up because I've learned from it and I'm, I'm going to be better in the future. So really be patient with yourself during this period, especially if you're finding things out about yourself, you know, with the devil in reverse that you don't like, or you're confronting things, you're confronting your shadow side, seeing things about yourself and having to really come face to face with the size of yourself that you don't like. Please be gentle with yourself during this time. Everybody has those moments. Everybody goes through that. Everybody has things about themselves that they don't like. But the difference between someone who's going about that healthily and someone who is you know, being self-destructive is that inner voice. And 
you know, are we being gentle with ourselves and telling ourselves that, you know, it's okay that I went through this, I am changing, I'm growing, and I'm becoming a better person because of it, and I know the lesson, and I know why this happened to me, and I'm moving on, or am I saying, I'm the worst, I can't believe I did that, you know, what's, what is wrong with me, blah, blah, blah. It's so unhealthy to have those thoughts, and we can change them. We can change them, and it is so important to be gentle with yourself in that way during this time. So next we have attraction. This is really great. It kind of goes to what I was saying before um, about being gentle with yourself. I mean, this woman is kind of just um, here and sniffing this rose. She's kind of just taking in this beautiful time in her life and enjoying, enjoying what's happening. So as you as you enjoy the this moment fully this is kind of what it says as you enjoy every single moment you are attracting enjoyment into your life as you love and give love you are attracting love into your life and as you are gentle with yourself you see where i'm going with this <laughs> other people are gentle with us and we are also seeing that gentleness displayed in our lives and also we're bringing it to other people you know, the more we love ourselves, the more we have true, real, unconditional love for ourselves, the more we can pour that out towards other people and become more stable in our lives. So this is really about you, you know, again, taking that rest, relaxing, you know, being around yourself and just enjoying life, enjoying, um, enjoying your days, having fun with friends and just, just really taking that deep breath, letting go and just being happy having a smile on your face and if you don't feel like you're there right now that's so okay you know it's, it's about that self-care so if you don't feel like you're doing so hot you know do something to make yourself feel better um if you don't feel like if you feel like something isn't benefiting you or serving you step away step away from that thing you know and come back into yourself so as you as you love and enjoy your days and your life that love is being reflected back into your life so so much more is coming towards you as you are healing and purging and, and closing out these cycles as you also continue to praise and love yourself that is also coming back towards you see how it's all one big cycle so continue to do that um and you this is all with the law of attraction i mean it has the, the word attraction on it you know so <laughs> this is really all about that and being the energy that you want to see reflected back into your life beautiful okay so the last card we have is empowerment i love this message for our ending of this reading um it is really talking about um loving yourself and coming into that power i'm going to read it to you it says you're more powerful than you realize it is safe for you to be powerful so um especially with this empress being here and the queen of pentacles and the world card obviously you are really coming into your power during this time you're realizing your true power you're realizing a lot about um manifestation and you know bringing happiness into your life through your own inner thoughts and beliefs it is so important for you right now to just you know continue to stay in this energy and to love yourself loving yourself is power saying no in situations where you don't want to be in is power you know bringing that happiness loving yourself that's that's all that's all power that is pure that is power that doesn't come from taking from other people that's power that comes from the divine that's come from the inside so this is about um just really you loving yourself taking care of yourself seeing yourself in that in that beautiful positive light you can see that this like mermaid has like wings and she's like holding her heart chakra and there's this beautiful light on her try to try to envision yourself in that light try to envision yourself with a beautiful golden or like silver light around you and just know that throughout the day you shine with that same vigor and you know that'll actually put you in that mood you know continue to love yourself and just see yourself that way see yourself as the divine being that you are see yourself as the way that source made you totally perfect and beautiful in every way and just because we have things to heal guys just because we are healing ourselves and learning more about ourselves and learning more about our mistakes in life does not mean that we are not still beautiful divine beings created by source we are loved we are love and the more that we bring that love into our lives and the more the closer we get to ourselves we are love so when you love yourself you will give more of yourself 
to yourself and that is power that is power loving yourself and being the, your most authentic true beautiful self that is true power and that is the empress energy that is the emperor that is the emperor energy that is energy that you both are coming into it's oh my god this energy is literally so powerful <laughs> i'm feeling it and i'm just feeling like bubbles you know like rising and like coming to the top so you are rising you are ascending this is such a beautiful reading you are ending massive karmic cycles in your life and it's due to you letting go of any toxicity and you know making this decision and you know this decision whatever you have here it's not, it's not the biggest thing right now because i really do feel like you know yourself enough to pursue the path that you want to be on so really the important part is just being gentle with yourself you know giving yourself that self-love in the different ways that you can you know um taking care of yourself in terms of you know even hygiene or our relationships making sure you're in places that you want to be in are and are happy and just really really being gentle with yourself and holding yourself in that higher power that higher light seeing yourself as who you truly are is that divine beautiful light being so that is your reading pound number three i hope you liked that i liked that and it's totally like gorgeous honestly all right everyone i really hope you enjoyed those readings thank you so much for coming back to my channel and please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell that would mean so much to me if you did do that and i can't wait to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching guys bye